Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this black velvet jacket. About two weeks ago, my sister and I attended the Magic at Montsalvat Banquet in Melbourne. It was a costumed event, so I packed up these coats and jet set it off to Melbourne. Cue cheesy travel montage with chill music. of fun and I of course thoroughly enjoyed making our costumes. We went as medieval twins in long medieval dresses, black velvet coats and black hoods with fur trim. If you want to find out how I made these hoods, the link is in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get on and see how I made these black velvet coats. I used the Butterick B4929 pattern. I used the front and front side pieces from view C and the back and side back pieces from view B because I love that tailcoat vibe. I also added about 8 inches to the side pieces to make the skirt full and more dramatic. The fabric used is a black cotton velvet and I lined it with a cotton voile and some black lining silk. First thing is you need to cut out all pattern pieces according to the pattern instructions. Working with the velvet outer fabric, pin and stitch the front to side front matching the notches with right sides together. Do the same for the back and side back. Then pin and stitch the back pieces together, leaving the centre split open below the large circle marking. Working with the centre back pleat piece, stitch it above the circle marking and iron in the fold marks. With wrong sides up, place the back piece flat on the table and lay down the pleat piece wrong side up, matching notches and hem. Pin in place, being careful not to catch the outside of the jacket, only the pleat, and stitch along the top and down the sides. Pin and stitch the front pieces to the back piece, at side and shoulder seams, matching the notches. Moving on to the collar. With right sides together, stitch around the side and top edges of the collar, leaving the lower edge free. Notch around that stitched edge and turn it right side out. With right sides together, match the neck edge of the coat to the lower edge of the collar. Pin in place and stitch all layers together. Time for the sleeves. I decided to line the sleeves with lining silk so they stayed slippery inside the arm. With wrong sides together, match up the notches, then fold over with the outer fabric on the inside and the lining on the outside. Stitch up each sleeve seam and gather stitch around the arm between the notches. I overlocked down the inner seam of each sleeve, but you can zigzag stitch if you don't have an overlocker. Turn the sleeves right side out and place some silk bias binding along the cuff edge. Turn your sleeve inside out and fold up the cuff. Pin and hand stitch along the top of the bias binding, making sure you only catch the lining to leave it seamless on the outside. To insert the sleeve, poke the coat armhole through to the back and place the sleeve right side out into the hole. You should have the right sides of the velvet together. Ease the gather around the sleeve to fit into the armhole. Pin and stitch in place. Your outer jacket is now made. Time to stitch the lining. Stitch the lining front sides and back together in the same way as the outer fabric. Now you need to put your lining and outer fabric jackets together. With right sides together, making sure the collar and sleeves are tucked inwards, pin the lining to the outer fabric along the neck and centre front. Stitch in place. Yeah. 
turn it right side out, pushing the lining to the inside. Pin and stitch around the inside of the armhole. I then overlocked this, but again, you can zigzag stitch or turn the lining hem inwards and hand stitch around the armhole. To hem the coat, the outer fabric and lining must be hemmed separately. Fold up the lower edge of the outer fabric about two inches, starting from the center back pleat. Take your time with this to get it right. Fold in any pleats to form a corner. Stitch all of this in place. Do the same for the lining, but fold up about two and a half to three inches and stitch in place. For the pleat, open the lining pleat seam and match it with the inside of the pleat piece. Stitch across the top and sides like you did with the outer fabric, being careful not to catch the outer fabric layer. Give it a good iron, add some buttons and loops or toggles down the centre front and you are done. If you want to know more about the place that we went, I will link the Montsalvat website in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.